Hi everyone, today we are going to take our fractions knowledge to the next level. We've been really good at naming fractions, colouring fractions, um, and we've started to think about finding a fraction of a number like finding a half and finding a tenth. So today we are going to take that to the next level and we've got some success criteria here. So we're going to continue to say the names of fractions, a third, a half, things like that. Um, we're going to be able to identify the numerator and denominator. We've spoken about that before, so hopefully by the end of today you'll feel more confident in saying what is a numerator, what is a denominator. And lastly today we will be focusing on how to add and subtract fractions. So that will be the main learning of today um, in this lesson. So let's have a wee look, um, first of all, at this fraction. So hopefully we know straight away what that fraction is and we can begin to think what are the different parts of this fraction. So this fraction is a quarter and um, the number on the bottom is the denominator and the number on the top is the numerator. So the denominator tells us how many pieces um, something is, is divided up into and the numerator tells us just the number of those pieces. So hopefully we are quite good at that by now. So here's a wee task um, just to get us thinking about saying fractions. Um, which I know we are quite good at. So I've got six fractions here and all I would like you to go through is and just say them, just say them out loud. So you can pause the video just now, go through each one and just say these fractions out loud. Awesome, well done. Okay, second task, I would like you to go through and the same fractions and see what is the numerator and what is the denominator in each fraction. So for example, um, we'll do the first one for you. So the first one, the fraction is a third. So you would then say the numerator is one, the denominator is three. So this is just to get us used to knowing what the numerator is, knowing what the denominator is. So go through these same fractions and tell me what is the numerator and what is the denominator. So again, you can pause just now and have a think about that. Awesome. So you might have noticed that the last fraction there is a little bit different to the fractions that we've been thinking about so far. Usually when we see a fraction, the numerator, the number on top, is smaller than the denominator. But that last one, 7 sixths, is not the case. The numerator is bigger. And this is absolutely fine. Okay, All it means is that you have got 7 bits of sixths. So it means you've got more than one thing, um, but don't panic about it, it's perfectly normal. So if you ever see a fraction with the numerator bigger than the denominator, it's fine. It's still a fraction, it's still a normal fraction, so don't worry about it too much. Alright guys, so let's think about adding fractions. Now a lot of people do start to panic when we say things like adding fractions, but really it's really, really simple. If you know how to add anything you can add fractions as well so let's have a look at a very easy example so if I had um, this question what is two chairs add one chair you would be able to say to me probably straight away two chairs add one chair is three chairs let's look at another example what is four books add two books you could probably tell me straight away that it's six books because we know how to add these numbers one more example what is one table add nine tables 10 tables. Adding is very very simple and the rules apply to fractions as well. So let's have a look at a fraction example now. What is one third? Add one third. The answer is just two thirds. So adding is the same no matter what it is you're adding. The only difference for fractions is it might look a little bit different. So for example in fractions, um, if we have a look here I've written them as one third, add one third as a fraction. Okay. And then we would write the answer two thirds just like that. So we can actually see in this example the denominator, the bottom number, doesn't change at all. That's the thing that we're adding. It's the top number, the numerator, the number of things that does change. So because we know one add one, we know that that's going to be two. The denominator does not change. So it's very, very simple um, to add fractions if you know how to add other things. So let's have a look at just a fraction example. So here's our first example. We have got one quarter add one quarter. So we know how to add one thing, add one thing. The same applies here. One thing, add one thing is two things, which means we've got two quarters. So that would be how we would write that answer. 
next examples popped up as well. So we've got two eighths add three eighths. So we've got two things add three things. The answer is going to be five things. The things in this case are eighths. So we would write our answer like that. The denominator does not change. Only the numerator changes that number on top. Let's have a look at one more example. We have got one tenth add four tenths. So hopefully you're getting the idea now and you're recognising that that answer would be five tenths because you know that one add four is five. So here are six examples for you to try just now. And um, you can pause the video and have a wee look at these numbers and um, these fractions and add them all together. So pause the video just now and we'll get some answers in. Okay, okay, so let's have a look at our answers. Hopefully it all made sense. So the first one, one quarter add two quarters is three quarters. B going across the way, we have got three six add one six, so that's a four six. For C, we have got two eighths add one eighth is three eighths. D, nine twelfths add one twelfth is ten twelfths. E, um, four six add three six is seven six. And there's an example of that numerator being bigger than the denominator, but it doesn't matter, it's still a correct answer. And for F, the last one, 9 tenths add 4 tenths is 13 tenths. And again, that's another example of the numerator being ha um, a bigger number than the denominator, but it doesn't matter, it's still the correct answer. So well done if this is making sense to you. We're going to go on to subtraction, which is exactly the same, except instead of adding this time, we're going to be subtracting, we're going to be taking away. So let's have a quick wee look at some non-fraction examples. What is nine cups take away two cups? Seven cups. What is four trees minus one tree? Three trees. What is three quarters? Subtract one quarter, two quarters. So it's, it's just the same no matter what it is that you are taking away. The only difference is with a fraction is it might be written as a, a fraction rather than words. So if we have a look at that example that we've just done. So three quarters take away one quarter is two quarters. The denominator doesn't change, but it's the numerator, that number on top that you are only concerned about. So very quickly on to some um, examples here for takeaway this time. So please be careful not to add and that you are just thinking about subtraction. So again, you can pause the video Take your time going through these and we'll get some answers in a wee second. Very quickly then, let's get some answers for these that are up on the screen right now. So 4 thirds take away 1 third is 3 thirds. 8 tenths take away 2 tenths is 6 tenths. 9 tenths take away 4 tenths is 5 tenths. Three, uh, six thirds, sorry. Take away two thirds is four thirds. Seven quarters, take away one quarter is six quarters. And the last one, five elevenths, take away one eleventh is four elevenths. So well done if this is totally making sense to you. It's just like normal addition and subtraction. It just looks a little bit different, but once you know that it's not really any different, um, hopefully it all makes sense. So last thing I have got for you today I have got some medium and I have got some hot um, examples for you to have a wee look at. You can do medium, you can do hot, you can do both. It is completely up to you. To make it a bit more obvious for you, the red ones are the adding ones and the blue ones are subtraction so that you don't get confused. Um, so yeah, pause the video just now and see how you get on with those and we'll get some answers in a wee second. Okay guys, well done. I know you've worked really, really hard on this video. Um, unfortunately, my, my answers are not very clear, um, so apologies for that. I hope that you can see them just now. Um, so you can pause and have a wee zoom in if you can't see them very clearly. Um, hopefully you got those all correct. Let me know how you got on. Um, on Teams, you can post me a wee comment or you can post your work on Seesaw as well. That would be brilliant to see. And um, Well done for everything today, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.